Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 in Monte Vista! This series will not revolve around just one expansion pack, we're going to be playing with as many as we want, so you can consider it a sort of combined Let's Play if you will. The main Sims that we'll be playing with in this series are the children from the Island Paradise Let's Play. I've also scattered their families around the town, so in case we miss them, we could go and hang out with them, throw a bunch of parties and invite them, and just have a bunch of fun with them. As I take you on a tour of the town, I will We'll read you the description. A bright sun-kissed world with rolling hills, cypress trees, and an amazing view awaits. Peacefully spend the day visiting museums, strolling across the piazza, or learning the culinary arts on an authentic wood fire oven. Will your sims find the inspiration to fuel their culinary fires? Who knows? <laughs> As you can see, this town is gorgeous. They did an amazing job with this town, and it is one of my absolute favorites. So I'm very excited to play in this town for this series. Now that I have shown you the world, I'm going to be showing you the Sims individually. If you want to know where their hair or clothing came from or any accessories, there will be a blog post linked in the description where I list everything, and there will be links to any store content that I have used. If you would like to download this family, there are two links in the description, one to the Sims sims3.com where you could download them from the exchange and then one on Mediafire in case you don't have a sims3 account. Don't worry, that website is completely safe and free. I use it all the time. It is not like spam or anything like that. And you might also notice if you watched that sneak peek video I did not too long ago that I have changed their traits around a little bit and their lifetime wishes. <laughs> this first sim is Sebastian. He was born a mermaid, still is a mermaid. He has lovely red hair and green clothes to match because green and red complement colors they work really well together he is adventurous athletic disciplined kleptomaniac and virtuoso his lifetime wish is martial arts master which is to reach level 10 in the martial arts skill and obtain grand master rank his favorite food is stir fry music disco color aqua miyapso simchi wani do that is his voice and he is a scorpio here's the gorgeous ashley she kind of has this laid-back vibe going on i gave her purple and black color scheme well because her favorite color is purple but she also looks really really good in it her traits are diva dramatic great kisser natural born performer social butterfly her lifetime wish is vocal legend which is to reach level 10 of the singer career something i haven't used probably since showtime favorite food autumn salad music latin color purple whipsy bonica too that is her voice and she is a leo this beautiful sim is ruby and yes her name is ruby i did make her favorite color red and she is wearing red but red Red just suits her so well, and I think it's it's just a lovely color on her. Her traits are ambitious, artistic, friendly, natural cook. She doesn't have a lifetime wish yet. She will one day. Her favorite food is grilled cheese, music, beach party, color red. Narbo Zeb. That is her voice, and she is a Libra. And last but not least, we have this precious Sim Chuck. I gave him green and banana yellow clothes with a little bit of orange, and he's just he's too adorable for words. <laughs> His traits are angler, brave, excitable, and I plan to make him adventurous and go travel the world, so that's something to look forward to. His favorite food is ratatouille, music, geek rock, color lime. That is his voice, and he is a Gemini. So before starting the Let's Play, I'm going to show you the house that they live in. This is their home, Ashley and Sebastian. Obviously super excited to be living here. I'll show you the inside in a little bit. First, I want to show you where exactly they live and also where their families live. So this is their lot, one of these smaller lots in this main part of the town. We will definitely be expanding and eventually moving them into an even bigger, better home. So that'll be very exciting. Sebastian's mermaid family lives right over here, Triton, Alice, and Salty. Chuck's parents, Kara and Mateo, are over here. I gave them a crib and a couple extra beds in case they want to have some more children. And if they do, I'll move them into a bigger home unless they like move themselves because sometimes Sims around town will like move in and out of houses. <laughs> Ruby's dads are over here enjoying the retired life in Monte Vista. Paul and Eric, a really adorable couple. And Ashley, her family is back in Nisla Paradiso, but that's all right because Sebastian's family, they adore her and they're really looking forward to having her as their daughter-in-law one day in the future. So you may have seen extra lots around this town and that's from having different expansions and starting a new town. Lots just 
like randomly get placed. So I removed those that I didn't think we'd be playing with. I could always put them back if we decide we want them back in the town. And then I placed the venues and lots that I knew that we were going to use. So I do plan on adding some other lots from the Simsory.com, but for now, this is what it looks like. So yeah, let me show you the house. This house was already in Monte Vista. I only expanded out this backside, I think. It's been a few months since I set up this family, so forgive me if I don't remember everything that was, you know, originally in this house or anything. But this is what it looks like on the outside. Sorry, it keeps going up and down. It's because all the stories are up. So yeah, there you go. It's very simple. Uh, we do have some lovely potted plants in the front, if it will let me show you. There we go. Lovely. And the top floor has all of the bedrooms, Sebastian and Ashley's room, Ruby and Chuck's room, and then underneath their room we have the office with a chess table, a computer, and an easel, and then their bathroom. I believe I switched out the tub for the shower because tubs just like take longer than showers. <laughs> their kitchen, dining area, and living room. Um, I don't think I changed anything in here. So yeah, let's, let's start the let's play now. Yay. First things first, they need some jobs so we could start making some money because we only have a little over 2,000 simoleons. Sebastian, I'm going to have him join the military career because he'll eventually become an astronaut and only have to work one day a week and make a bunch of money so I think that is totally worth it his work day is like from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. the next day but again totally worth it I think Ashley you need to find a profession and I believe you could do that from the computer jobs and professions yes sweet she is going to join the singer profession and uh, they do have some stuff that they brought over with them from Isla Paradiso like skills too so I'll go over that in just a moment after I do all this career stuff and read it all military latrine cleaner 40 simoleons an hour 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday Tuesday Wednesday Friday. In the military, you'll have the chance to protect loved ones and possibly even travel to space as an astronaut. You'll need to be in top physical condition and know how to fix a thing or two. Attention, soldier, accept career. Sebastian, get your little butt home. You're going to start working on your athletic skill, strength. And Ashley, turn on that computer, find a profession, and let's join the singer profession. Acrobat, no, no, no. Singer, sing a gram novice. Weekly stipend, 275 simoleons, open hours. Being a singer is all about singing, and to really succeed, you'll need to be willing to belt it out anywhere. You'll start off singing for tips on the street and performing sing -a grams for money, but if you show real promise, you'll soon be on your way to sold out gigs and superstardom. Yay, I'm down for it. Uh, enter stage name for performer, mother fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, like the song? Anyone? <laughs> so I'm going to just give her her real name as her stage name. Give me some comments, leave me some ideas on what you think her stage name should be. I think we could change it whenever, so maybe I'll like switch it up throughout the series. That would be really fun. So leave your ideas in the comments and we will change her stage name. But for now, she only has one. She's kind of like Beyonce. Her dreams and aspirations is to like be Beyonce or, um, you know, have a song, make a song with her. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, let me read all these different notifications. Congratulations, Sebastian just got a new job. Sebastian needs to be at the Civic Center at 7 a.m. on Monday. His boss is Luigi. Having a good relationship with your boss never hurts. You're on your way to becoming a singing superstar, but for now, you have nothing but a dream. <laughs> Delivering singograms is a great way to practice singing and performing while earning some... What are you doing? Why? Why are you being mean? Uh, while earning simoleons. She now makes 275 simoleons per week. Quit it! Oh, okay, cool. Shagabra, they're being nice to each other. Let me just queue up some nice interactions. Jeez. What is up with- It's because Ashley's a diva. <laughs> anyway, get to know. Alright, so... This basically says that we can view our properties from the phone or computer. Ooh, I see the university mascot with his creepy, or her creepy, I'm sorry, llama head. This thing, like, always creeps me out. I don't know. I mean, it's cool, but it's just, it just looks a little bit strange. <laughs> Sebastian has some lifetime happiness points. Well, that's, I'll go over that too. <laughs> Hi, whoa, that scared me. Your friendly Sims University mascot is here to spread some school spirit. I also bring the university welcome kit, which has useful university information and fun freebies. 
A mysterious portal has appeared in the world. What effects may this have on the world? I do not know. So thanks for putting this right in the way of the door. Let me turn it around and just like place it there for a bit. <laughs> you want to come inside? Hey, Ruby, go greet. Kristen, ask to hang out. Yeah, what's up? Kristen, right? I read that right? Yes, Kristen Cruz. So since I moved them over from Isla Paradiso, they basically brought their, you know, skills, the stuff, some of the stuff in their inventory and their lifetime happiness points. Sebastian, he has level 7 guitar, level 10 scuba diving because, you know, he's a mermaid. He has 11 kelp in his pocket and a guitar. The kelp really helps. That's like one of the only things he can eat because he's a mermaid. I think he can eat fish too. So we're going to have to stock up some on some kelp and fish maybe. Lifetime happiness points almost has 70,000. So that's good. Um, <laughs> it almost feels a bit cheaty. But we did, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff with him in the Island Paradise Let's Play. So... I think it's cool. Ashley doesn't have very many lifetime happiness points, so we can totally work on that. She has a university diploma, and it was for, let's see, physical education. She got a B. Not too bad, Ashley. Level 4 athletic, 1 cooking, 1 painting for scuba diving. And Ruby has level 5 logic skill. In her pocket, she has her homework, which she brought over, and 44,594 lifetime happiness points. <laughs> Chuck only has 12,526, so we could totally work on that later. He has his own homework and no skills yet. We will get him some skills, of course. And for university, if you want us to travel to university and go and get some degrees, I am up for that because I really like going to university. I think it's fun. I think running into plant sims is pretty fun, too, because they're cool. And it's just... It's awesome. Oh yeah, they also have a uh, social group. So Sebastian has fifth, no, level five <laughs> in nerd, one in jock. Ashley has two in jock and Ruby has one celebrity point and Chuck doesn't have anything. He probably will get some later on because getting the nerd skill or social group is like the easiest thing ever. <laughs> so Ashley, can we perform a singogram? Can we give you a singogram? Singer. Perform Singagram! Yes, Celebration Singagram, let's do it. We're celebrating the fact that we just moved into a new place and we want to um, uh, get stuck. Uh, uh, that was weird. <laughs> Sims are always so weird. The navigation in this game is just... <laughs> it's hilarious sometimes. <laughs> so let's see. What is she going to do? I haven't played with this in so long, so... Ah... Uh, this is so cute. Look at her slick dance moves. Ooh, balloons and confetti. What, we gave her a gift? What kind of gift did you get? Can I have it back? Oh, look, little Miss Diva. <laughs> Ashley is adorable. Let's do this to someone in our family. Hey, Ruby, you're not doing anything. How about I perform a singogram, a celebration singogram, and see if we actually give you a gift? Because I want to know it, what she gives you. Ruby, hey. Quick. Okay, cool. No. I do. Yeah. Pillow fighting? No. I want to listen to Singer Graham. Congratulations! Ruby has just improved her logic skill to level 6. Ruby's brain has recently grown immensely and only in a good way. Rumors are circulating about Ruby's mental capabilities, but doubts still remain. Is Ruby just destined for the top of the cranial collective? I'm getting stuck on my words here. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately. Some sims seek to trim a few carbs so they look good in a bathing suit, whereas others see health fitness as a 24-7 lifestyle choice. It's time to invest in some athletic equipment. Sebastian can now oh wait <laughs> oh she's doing like the same thing cute okay what did we get oh a baseball all right oh it sounded like that plum bob thing like when you open up the game and it makes that plum bob noise anyway Sebastian now has the option to avoid breaking a sweat while exercising cool did you do your home okay yeah you did and Chuck did you finish yours oh he's working on his hey Chuck you want some help well, I mean, you're almost done, so it's all right. <laughs> I am really excited to uh, play around with this singer profession because I want to... Are you flirting? What are you doing? I don't know what that was. <laughs> because I would like to 
dress her up and give her these cool props on her stage and that just sounds like so much fun for me it's all about me your sim is the center of attention and that's just how she likes it from social butterfly oh ashley you crack me up sebastian is fatigued activity uh of the athletic variety naturally leads to a little muscle fatigue <laughs> variety see my my words <laughs> So Chuck is almost done. Ruby chatting with the university mascot. We might see you again in the future at university. Ruby, what do you think? Ruby, she could do the arts one. I think that it's called like arts. What? No. Why? Why is everyone being so mean to each other? Okay, let's let's just talk to Ashley. Funny, makes silly face. Just get her out of everyone's conversations because she seems to just put everybody in a bad mood. <laughs> Ruby. Hey, Ruby, how about you talk to Chuck? What's up, Chuck? Make silly face. So let me know where we should, you know, go in the town, what we should explore next. What's wrong, Chuck? Are you okay? Oh, he's strained. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't do it on purpose. I just, you know, you needed to do your homework. <laughs> so there are some venues that we could go and visit for Ashley for her to sing at, but we won't be able to for a while because of the level that she's at. Oh, ooh, let's go to this place over here. Alfresco Street Market. Let's visit with everyone. Unfortunately, we can't invite our, invite our university friend. Why? I would really like to have that university mascot going over there. Are you leaving? Look, <laughs> she's thinking about her. She, uh, it just looks so creepy. Like from this looks angle, like it looks evil almost. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Ruby, you need to go hang out with the group. Is she not going? <gasps> what? Okay, Ruby, you. Uh, I guess she wants to keep the mascot company. Maybe they'll become good friends and then they'll see each other at university look at how pretty monte vista is this view of like the entire world it's beautiful oh look some birds hey birds <laughs> it's so nice and i really like the designs of all the houses and lots around here they just uh, it this world just looks so good i can't get over it <laughs> so we're we're going on a really long trip over there oh hey look a bridge that's a pretty bridge where is this place Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> so Alfresco Market, I believe it either came with Monte Vista or is the venue that came around the time Monte Vista came out. Uh, I'll correct myself or put a little caption right here telling you. <laughs> I usually do that when I am wrong in a video and I want to correct myself, but we could buy produce and things. Let's see, Sebastian or Ashley, how about we have you browse produce? There's a lot of stuff here and it just looks so pretty. Look at this. It just looks so nice. And then over here, we actually have some poking out of like the, the stacks. <laughs> and there's also this neat little stand where kids can go and tend to. And then adults, I'll show you what they do. <laughs> oh, maybe they'll have some kelp here so I could buy some more kelp. I should actually buy some fruits or veggies to put in their pockets so that they like never go hungry. That's usually something that I do just to make sure that my Sims don't die of starvation. And if they're in the middle of nowhere with no food, uh, I want to browse, please. <laughs> then they'll have something to like pull out of the pocket and eat and get a little hunger fulfillment. <laughs> Ashley, I like that she's still in her singer career outfit. So are we going to get any, who are you talking to? Are you? She's like talking to the invisible person tending the stand here. Oh, do we have to actually purchase stuff? My bad. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we'll go through this and then I'll show you what um, they can do over here with the adults and the kid. It is, it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, what is this? So, oh, I've already read that. Cool. So Ashley, what are you going to buy? Uh, so there is cocoa, peach, uh, oh my goodness, avornalino grapes, I just butchered that word, white caps, melwar grapes, sweetgrass, lime, uh, so there's a bunch of stuff here, but no kelp. I don't think it's worth buying though. Maybe one each and then we could start a garden. <gasps> we could start a garden. If you didn't already know, gardening is my favorite skill, probably my favorite skill, or one of. So let's get psychiatric help. <laughs> this is, it's so funny, but it's so adorable because the kids <laughs> giving the psychiatric help, they just, 
they look so funny. And it totally reminds me of the Peanuts. Who is it? Lucy that tends to stands and gives Charlie Brown help? <laughs> Maybe. So, look, he's like taking a seat. Chuck is just tending to the bar, pretty much. Look at that eyebrow. He's so slick. <laughs> Sebastian's like telling him his life story, and Chuck's like, Yeah, I hear you, man. This is what you should do. And Sebastian's like, Mm hmm. But, but this and this and this. And then Chuck's like, Oh, but you know. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just like watching this little interaction. They're enjoying themselves. Oh, he's talking about beetles and talking about being muscular. Yeah, beetles, trees. They're like one and one. He's like, yeah, you're right. You're right, Sebastian. The sponge. <laughs> I hope we give him money. Did we give him anything? Oh, it looks like we did. He just threw some some simoleons into this little jar. Sebastian's just talking and Chuck's just like, ah, I don't want to hear it. I just want to get my money. <laughs> uh, okay, well... Bye, Chuck. Thank you for the advice. And look, he gets a mood lit. Feeling good about me. Sometimes it takes honest advice from a child to help Sebastian King realize that life is good. Life is good. Oh, is there a light? Oh, there's a light right here. <laughs> so this is the market. I know it's getting a bit dark. There's this cool statue of a mermaid over here. Triton with a triton. And there's a bunch of stands, some uh, chess tables, and some more of these cool, I don't know, what is this, like a lemonade stand? And uh, things where you could buy, oh, hey. It kind of almost looks like they're stealing stuff when they go, like, put their hand in it and they just, like, look to the side. But I'm pretty sure someone is supposed to be tending to these and standing over here. Yeah, see? He's talking to them. <laughs> That's, oh, like this lady. Yeah. Did she? Oh, my goodness. Did you see Carlotta Gills Carbo? She just, like, took an apple out of here. What the heck, lady? You're not supposed to do that. Well, unless she, like, made the fruits herselves. Oh, look at these! Plum bobs! Like plum bob berry lights. I want some of those. That's awesome. I've seen some of those at um, like the EA headquarters and they were green. They were a bit bigger than that, but I totally want some. That would be, oh, that'd be so awesome. Okay. So this is the market again. Let's look at over here. I think this is just a little place to go and, and stand around in. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So that's what this has to offer. We'll probably come back here and purchase some cool, you know, fruits and vegetables and things that we can grow. But for now, we're going to go home, call it a day. The first few sim days are probably going to be a bit slow because we just, we have to get into the swing of things, get them some money in order to afford stuff and expand their home and, um, you know, get them married eventually and have babies and age them up and have them go to university. And I'm just so excited. I'm so excited when I start a new series because there's so much to do and I want to travel the world Sebastian he wants to get the martial arts skill which means we have to travel to China and I'm looking forward to that I also want to travel to the other places and it's just nice to have a series where I, you know nothing is restricting me I can do whatever any of you want me to do and you know whatever I want to do it's just it's gonna be fun it's gonna be really fun for me <laughs> and hopefully for you too so I hope you enjoyed this episode next Next one, uh, just give me some su suggestions on what to do in the comments and also suggestions on what Ashley's stage name should be and how I should dress her up too because we have to give her some cool costume and also some stage props and things. So I am going to fulfill their mood bars and I will talk to you all later. Bye everyone.